Um, and then we have the moon card. So sometimes the moon card most of the time represents things that are hidden. But what I'm getting, what Spirit is telling me, this is representing a very deep love. She's got a very deep, look at all that water. Like, it's all the way chest deep. Like, it's covering her up. It's filling her up. And she is so in love. And what I'm hearing is, we don't have to make the world see what we got, as long as we both know what we have. Like, let's keep our relationship between us. You know, we can't, we don't want to let anyone else in. The best way to protect your relationship is to keep it between you and your person. This is a badass bitch right here. And then for the masculine, we have the world. And the king of wands. So with these two cards, what I see is, um, first of all, the world, of course, if you want to go with regular tarot, that's the ending of, is completing a cycle. X marks the spot. Um, you found your treasure. And this masculine is very happy about that. The king of wands. He's, he's got his wand here. <laughs> He's very passionate about his, his, I'm hearing queen. He knows that she is his queen. Yep, he knows she is his world. She brings him fulfillment. She brings him happiness. She has brought him um, the spark and the hope back into his life. You know, where he didn't have any before he now has it and his eyes and his focus is on her um he's very passionate he's the king of wands is someone who um he works hard for what he has so he has put the work into this relationship as well yeah they don't want anyone coming in and messing up what they got then you have You have the Queen of Wands. And it's funny because you have the Queen of Wands for the Divine Feminine here. And up here you have the King of Wands. That is definitely a Divine counterpart. You have the Five of Wands. So even though y'all have got y'all's conflicts, y'all have got things coming up that y'all are coming up against. And you have the Ace of Swords. And the magician. So y'all definitely have really good communication between you. Y'all's very good at getting together and manifesting what you want. Y'all are manifesting your happiness. You're manifesting the sun card. Um, the queen of wands. She's, look at her, she's so motherly and loving. She's just so sweet. She got a cherry on top. You know, she... Her heart has got wings on it. Um, she, this is, she's sweet and compassionate to everyone. Even though she's badass and she ain't going to tolerate anyone wrecking what her and her masculine have. She's not going to listen to any negativity about him. She's going to put that, she's going to put a stop sign on that. Like, uh-uh, no. She's, is like, I'm getting a real sense of, some people may say she's sweet, some people may say she's a bitch, but the version you get of her is, depends on you, and she's like the icing on his donut, mm-hmm, yes, 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 <laughs> but They've got the Five of Wands, which they've got a lot of conflict facing them. It's like they've got a lot of opposition. There's there's the fence in the background. I'm being drawn to that, which is telling me there's there's this blockage. There is a blockage 
which has to do with outside, um, some kind of outside conflict, something from the outside. It doesn't have to do anything at all with what they've got going on. That's why she's in meditation, no matter. they got these snakes, the, the things coming in on both sides. But between them, they have the Ace of Swords and the Magician. So they are, they have good communication. They know how to talk to each other. They take things to each other first before anyone else. You know, they, neither one has to worry about um, hearing some news. Like the feminine doesn't have to hear about what happened in the masculine from somebody else because he tells her himself and vice versa. They have great communication. They come together. They're, they're looking at what they want. They're manifesting. They're making it happen. They're, and then the um, Archangel Oracle card for this deck, the advice is Chakra Clearing. Archangel Metatron, call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes. So a lot of you may be seeing geometric shapes when you meditate. Um, I know for me, a lot of times when I meditate, the geometric shapes I see always start with triangles. And, um, but you're just being drawn to, you may be drawn to, um, seeing different shapes and, uh, geometric symbols. Also, maybe some synchronicities, you know, throughout your day and throughout your time. So, I hope this resonated. If it did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, do leave a comment. Uh, I love seeing your feedback. Don't forget to send me an email to enter my free drawing. My drawing for three free um, personal readings. Uh, you can email me at moongoddess114433 at gmail.com. Thank you for so much for watching. Namaste.